sweet traveler, welcome and enjoy your stay. Oh, welcome home, dear. You're home early. Did everything go okay at work? Ah, they let you off early because of the holidays. I see. Well then. And you brought home yet another couple pizzas from the Demon Pizzeria. Well, are they at least something interesting this time? Thin crust, full garlic, extra bacon with artichoke? Hmm, that sounds interesting. And the other one? No sauce, um, vegan cheese, left beef. Wow. Sounds like an interesting day. <laughs> is you do run into some interesting characters, both demonic and human there. I will agree with you there. So, since your human Thanksgiving and several other similar holidays fall about the same time, this time of month, and our demonic day of obsession also falls about this uh, same time, I figured we could celebrate them all on one day, if you don't mind. And we could have a very romantic evening, just the two of us, since it seems... <laughs> We don't have any other plans for the evening, unless you invited anyone over. No? Excellent, my dear Starling. In that case, I've prepared what I hope is an acceptable rendition of your turkey and gravy and stuffing with cranberry sauce. It came out of a can and it doesn't look very good, but I'll, I'll just leave that up to you. The turkey, I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out human foods, but I think I cooked it right. The outside looks rather like a lava dipped hell bat, but the inside is nice and tender. The gravy, well, I honestly think it looks like gray sludge, but it, maybe that's just because of the gravy I used. I used a recipe for um, sausage gravy, and there's biscuits. Those were easy to follow the instructions for. I opened this can and it exploded, and it's like, wow, seriously, they were twice as big as what I expected them to be. And they just baked up nice and firm, and just, that was the easiest part of the whole thing, honestly. And the stuffing... It said to cook it on the stovetop. The box said stovetop. And I don't think I used enough water because now it's a bready mess. But <laughs> I'll. I, I just hope I did okay. On top of that, I fixed a few dishes that. I had to substitute some ingredients that I couldn't get for human ones. I wanted to make some devil fish pie, and well, I couldn't get devil fish, so I used the closest thing I could get here in the human world. Salmon. And it's pretty close, I think. And uh, 
I, I really hope you like it. It's supposed to have sort of a twangy taste to it. It's close. I had to substitute pickles in as well. It's... Oh, one of my co-workers said that the substitutions and all make it taste more like toasted salmon patties on, well, toast. But I, I think it's okay. It should be okay. Another of my favorites that I always make for the Day of Obsession is roasted fire bat on a stick. You can't get bat. So I had to... Well, I wanted to use mouse or rat or something like that, and I couldn't do that either. So I found out that the closest I could get is chicken. But with enough seasoning and some sauce, I found out that I could get close enough to it. And I think that this chicken on a stick should do pretty nicely. I think you'll enjoy it too. It's nice and fire roasted. I summoned some flames and it should be mm, wonderful. Now, one other thing. Um, I think I understand your Thanksgiving and why you celebrate it. You give thanks for all that you have and all that you've gained and all of that over the year. Is that correct? Okay, thank goodness. I read several websites and saw some videos online and that seems to be the pretty basic summary of it. And it seems to be pretty close to what we celebrate the Day of Obsession over. What's that? What is the Day of Obsession? I figured someone would have filled you in by now. The Day of Obsession, simply put, is once a year, or whenever we feel like it, really. We celebrate our obsessions because, to a demon, our obsessions are what give meaning to our lives. They are our purpose of existence, and if we don't give thanks for it, then we run the risk of losing those obsessions forever. We either forget about them, they fade from our minds, or just we lose them, hence why we celebrate. And once you pass on, you will be what I will be celebrating every year. My obsession with you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. I don't have much of a choice but be obsessed with you for the rest of eternity, but... For you to be obsessed with me, that's... That's... Oh, that's so wonderful and sweet of you. So... Would you... Rather... Have the dinner now? Or... Would you... Rather wait a little bit and... Retire and... Snuggle a little first? Hmm? You know, I'm a bit famished myself. I think I could just dig right into this meal as well, after cooking so much. And uh, let's just save the pizza for a midnight snack or something. Shall we? 
And now to dinner, we can do something a little bit more intimate, my dearest love.